my gosh, guys. She is so trashed. Look at this thing. It's like somebody drove it through a snowstorm. Oh, my God. Look at it. It's just so bad. Holy gosh. Well, you know what? It looks like the Radiator Grill store grills are, you know, still in. That's crazy. But holy crap. Totaled, I guess, right? This thing should be totaled. Gosh, if there's anybody that could bring it back, though. I would say that Oaks Detail is going to do it. Now, I will tell you guys, the car is fully paint protection film covered by Oaks Detail with Expel and ceramic coated. So we're going to actually take it over there. He begged me after seeing this to bring it over so he could work some magic on it. And uh, honestly, I think it'll make a good video. So you'll want to check that out from, uh, from Oaks Detail when he posts it because they make some pretty cool, uh, like, cinematic videos that I think you'll want to check out. So let's go on over to Oaks Detail now. Unloaded off the trailer, basically straight from Florida, the winter storm, and uh, see what kind of magic they can work on. Not every day you have the dirtiest C8 in the world on your ass here, but today is that day. The uh, what RS6 wagon? Yeah. Wait, there's three RS6 wagons here. Here, this is. I like wagons. What's up? How's it going? You got a trash card? I got one for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, good thing I dropped that code. Well, I guess it's from kicking up shit right onto it. Yeah, that makes sense. And I was keeping my distance from everybody else. She get much left in the truck next time. Maybe. I'm glad that I used the open, though. If I used the enclosed, I think I would have been some, some hurt coming home. So, to show you guys the strange magic that happens when you have an uh, uh, enclosed trailer go next to a truck with a trailer, I'm going to use some strange magic beer and we're going to show you how high density air and low density air do strange magic to trailers. Okay, so this is going to be the high density air. I'm going to blow through here and you would expect if you're like thinking critically that the high density air is going to push everything aside, but let's see what happens. I'll put the, like the center, center lane right there. Okay, let's do this. that's one of the reasons why I did not want to drive my enclosed trailer with my 80 plus thousand dollar Corvette in it in snow because that kind of pulling motion I think it would have sent my enclosed trailer right off the road now without that without the enclosed trailer so using my open trailer um, much more stable I had no issues driving back except getting my car dirty better than my car totaled so the more you know And knowing is half the battle. It's a little dirty in here. Much more than when I got to Florida. <laughs> Holy hell.
<laughs> he sold the windshield. This sticker is dangerous and inconvenient, but I do love picking. <laughs> <laughs> on a scale of one to ten. <laughs> I, I thought it was a Jeep. It looks like a Jeep, but it's a Corvette. I'm like, what? Oh my god. Yeah, just a daily drive. Yeah. Daily drive? Yeah. It's getting a solid like 30 minutes of just rinsing it off. So I'm leaving the car in at Nick Oaks, Oaks Details, uh, capable hands, very capable hands. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, oh. and hopefully when we return, it'll look good as new or better than new because they actually made it better than new when we first got it. So hopefully it takes it right back to that. He seems a little frustrated, but that's okay because we're paying him. At least I think we are. Better be because this, we kind of trash it. I trash it. I don't know why I'm saying we. I'm, like, sp spreading the blame. But it was me. I did it. It's my my bad. Sorry, Nick. Okay, so now that the car is nice and clean, we are going to head on over to Oaks in the enclosed trailer. Yes, I have one of those enclosed trailers. And as you guys have just seen from our little demonstration with the beer cans, that it is... Uh, uh, it, we, it was the right decision not to use the enclosed trailer. So let's go over and, you know, get this beautiful orange creamsicle. Yeah, pretty good. So we did amazing detail and everything else and the um, all the beauty and everything. I mean, it looks wonderful. Huh? It's a reflective reveal. Yeah. It's just like, beautiful. It looks way better than it did. <laughs> it's like, whose car is this? Because I know it's not mine. Can't be mine. Oh, the windshield crack. It's mine. <laughs> What's up? I know, I know. But you know what? The great news is that I have a new one coming and it'll have the Zora logo. Apparently people are breaking their windshields because the early version of the Corvette did not have the Zora figurehead on it. So people are breaking their windshields to get the new ones. So guys, a special thanks to Nick Oaks for taking care of my shit box. I know that uh, not all C8s are shit boxes, but I made one a shit box and he unmade it. So thank you very much for doing that. I know that uh, that was pretty bad. If you guys have a shit box yourself and you would like Nick Oaks to uh, work on it and get it all cleaned up like he did mine, definitely reach out to Oaks Detail. That's in Westchester, Pennsylvania. I gotta tell you right now, they're probably, uh, not probably, they are the best on the East Coast, for sure. The uh, quality of work that has gone into it has definitely saved my car's ass, considering that like it's owned by me. And uh, you know, my car has the, uh, 
the paint protection film all around, which is wonderful. The only thing that we don't have film on is the windshield, which you can do. Uh, highly recommend it for road course racing. Broken windshields are pretty common on the Corvette because of that. Uh, obviously, you saw that mine has a crack in it from the track day not too long ago, but yeah, he can do that too. So again, special thanks. The paint protection film is definitely a wonderful investment because you can see it just comes right off. And man, that's that's just wonderful. Uh, coming up on the channel, we have all sorts of other stuff. So come walk with me. We have major changes going on in the shop. Uh, we have lots of extra room. You can see that we have door four, door three, unnamed door. Another unnamed door. Yes, that's right. We finally are connecting all the shops. We had uh, all the way down there near the dumpster to the end, but missing this unit. But we are finally moving in and painting the walls, making it really nice. More to come on this in upcoming videos, as well as all the other fun stuff that we've been up to. We're going to get back into the swing of things with videos and you guys are gonna see it coming up on the channel soon, including this update and uh, a very special one with the Corvette. And maybe a goodbye. See you on the next one. Adios!